come back to this day and that year in two minutes. This is Steve Jobs, the founder of Apple. September the 16th was not a usual day in Steve Jobs' life. In fact, it was an unusual one because he was resigning. The reason? Well, we sat Steve Jobs himself for an interview. This is how it went. Mr. Jobs, why are you resigning? And to keep it simple, a long power struggle between the company's board and its CEO, John Scully, is to blame. As I probably mentioned before, today is an unusual day in his life. Because today is the day he returned. This time, he was the company's CEO. And he remained so until 2011, when he retired. And that- Wait, wait, wait! Before we go, Mr. Jobs had an important question for us. What is it, Mr. Jobs? Shall we go ahead with the follow-ons? Sure, Mr. Jobs! Let's go! 1863, the Robert College in Istanbul, the first American educational institution outside of America, is founded by Christopher Roberts, an American philanthropist. 1880, the Cornell Daily Sun prints its first issue in Ithaca, New York. The Sun is the United States' oldest, continuously independent college daily. 1908, carriage maker William C. Durin founds General Motors in Flint, Michigan. It was one of the world's largest manufacturer of cars and trucks. 1955, a Zulu-class submarine becomes the first to launch a ballistic missile. 1956, TCN9 Sydney is the first Australian television station to commence regular broadcasts. 1959, the first successful photocopier, the Xerox 914, is introduced in a demonstration on live TV from New York City. 1975, the first prototype of Mikoya MiG-31 Interceptor makes its maiden flight. It was one of the fastest combat jets in the world. And that's this day that year in two minutes. And until tomorrow. tomorrow.